Hi everyone, welcome to today's unboxing. If you weren't here for part one of this series, I received three packages and I'm opening them in three different videos so that you can see the bag that you'd like the most and just watch the video for that unboxing. If you weren't here for part one with me, I did open the Tin Man bag with the heart sequin coin purse. And that video is out now if you're interested in him at all and all of his gorgeous metallic shiny glory. <laughs> But that's not what you're here for, right? If you clicked on this video, you're here for the next unboxing. And um, let's go ahead and get that one started. So this one I ordered from Funko.com. And <laughs> I'd like to say that I remember which one it is. Oh, 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 I remember. I totally remember. I remember. Okay. So this bag I ordered from Funko.com, as I mentioned, and it's packaged here in bubble wrap, which is so fun. Okay, let me give you a little bit of background on this one. This bag is from a collection that is based on my favorite princess, Disney princess. And I wasn't sure if I was going to purchase this one because I watched another YouTuber unbox it. And obviously it's gorgeous, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit right. Um, so when I open this bag, I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see if it's one that you wanna purchase because it is still available on Loungefly.com. I said Funko, but I didn't buy it from Funko. I bought it from Loungefly. But be since they did the, trans the transition on their website, Funko and Loungefly are the same website, essentially. They're the same company, so you know what I mean. All right. So this is the Rapunzel Lantern crossbody. And I have to say, although Rapunzel is my favorite princess, this bag has a charm of Pascal. And it is so cute, that's actually what sold me. Aside from the part that it glows in, the fact that it glows in the dark. Okay, ooh, I'm already so impressed with this quality. This one is my second Stitch Shop purchase. The first one was the Glow in the Dark Poison Apple bag that I got. And that one was so beautiful. I just knew that this one was gonna be of the same quality, if not better. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, I've told you before that I'm not a fan of yellow. However, I tend to be buying a lot of bags that are yellow and this is no exception. What I love the most about this already is that it has the texture of a paper lantern. So it actually feels like a paper lantern and it's got all of the wrinkling details too. I think that is so cool. So you can see it has the sun here and it's got the uh, patterning up here is embroidered. It's got the stitch shop plaque. And on the top you have a vegan leather sun I can't remember if it's embossed or debossed, but it's in. <laughs> I'll figure that out one day, maybe. And if you didn't catch a peek of him, this is the Pascal um, charm that I was talking about. And it's got his front and his back on here. This is faux leather as well. And I just think this is the cutest thing. I'm so happy that it detaches as well because I may just use this as a keychain on any bag that I that I use every day. And with the Stitch Shop bags, they come with an exclusive pin. Uh, and this is the exclusive pin that it came with. It's Pascal and Flowers. How cute. I wonder if this goes in the dark as well. That would be so cool. It does not say. But the texture of this is so impressive. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It's got gold hardware and it has a little uh, Stitch Shop uh, logo there with a little spool. All right, let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. This is one of the things I was the most excited about. I really need to find my scissors. One moment. I have found the scissors. Do you ever go to like reorganize things and then you end up making more of a mess than you had to begin with? That's what I do. But I found my scissors 
and I've detached the chain. And I was really excited about this chain in particular because it's her braid. And obviously that's iconic. So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> All right, before I show you the inside, I'm going to attach the rope or the strap which is her braid. You can see her, her braid here, her hair. And it's got the beautiful flowers in it. These are um, vegan leather appliques. So beautiful. I love the colors in it too. But let me attach the strap so you can see the length of it on somebody. Um, if I didn't mention, that's one of the reasons why I wasn't sure if I was going to wear it because I am not your average size gal and um, sometimes the ladies don't let things hang where I would like them to hang. <laughs> uh, they just, you know, are too short. Like the popcorn buckets at Disneyland. Ugh, they just, they sit in my armpit and I hate it. All right, so let's, this is with the strap attached. Let's get this on. If I was going to wear it, it would be with the flowers in front because they're so gorgeous. My hood. All right, so this is where it sits. Actually, that's not bad. It's still a little bit higher than I would like it to be, but as you can see, the strap, if I were to put it where normally the crossbodies fit, um, it's not a very good length. So if I wear it in front or on the side, however, um, it's an okay size. An okay length, I should say. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I was hesitant to buy it. But it's still so gorgeous, and I think it's an okay length. My hair gets stuck in everything. Oh no, it's stuck in the flowers. Ah. Oh boy, this is a disaster. Oh my gosh, I can't see either. Oh. Okay. I wear it for two minutes and my hair gets stuck. Figures. Okay. <laughs> uh, now that I've got that taken care of, maybe this is not my favorite feature of the bag after all. Oh, uh, I did not think that one through. Okay, so the bag does adjust. I wonder, it looks like that's the long, oh. It doesn't have the holes that you would on a regular belt, although it does have that belt little hook here. I wonder if you can make it longer to like all the way down and if it'll sit any any lower. Let's give that a try. Let's try not to get my hair stuck this time. <laughs> Does it lower? I'm at an angle now, but you can see here this is as long as the as the chain goes. Not much of a difference in where it hangs, right? But that's okay. I don't want to get my hair stuck. <laughs> All right, now we're not at an angle together. All right, so that's the strap on the bag. I'm actually going to detach it so that I can show you the inside without any additional frustrations. <laughs> this is the lining. We've 
got Pascal and the lanterns in there in different shapes and sizes. I don't believe these have pockets, but I'm going to take a look anyway since it's so easy to get in and out of. I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, no pocket, but that's the size or the um, amount of space you have there. And the leather on the bottom and on the top are the same color. It's a lighter yellow than the darker lantern. This is giving me marigold when it's in person. Oh, I didn't even open it all the way. <laughs> like a hamburger. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stuff this back up and then I'm going to get a flashlight and see how much it glows. Cause I know that it does glow in the dark. I just don't know how much of the bag itself does. And if the pin glows, if the pin glows, that'd be super cool. I don't think he will, because it's just Pascal and the and the flowers, but let's give it a try. I will be right back. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed with the amount that this bag glows. I was in, under the impression that because it's a lantern, a little bit more of it would glow than I found. The stitching glows. This also glows under a black light, the little plaque. And then um, that was pretty much it. I have a UV light that I used on it to see if the sun would glow, but there was no reaction. I even took it outside to see how much of it would glow and still I only got the stitching. So um, I'm going to leave this out in the light a little bit longer and see if I can get you some footage of that later with more of the bag glowing. If not, then those are just the parts that glow, are the stitching, and this glows under a black light. <sighs> okay, well. <laughs> That's disappointing, but it's still a really beautiful bag and I'm obsessed with the texture of it. It feels so much like a paper lantern. It's really impressive how they were able to do that. It's still vegan leather and you can tell, but it's really soft. So that part's awesome. All right, well, that's it for part two of my unboxings. I will see you on the next one. Bye.